everybody um to another episode of Oche Kitchen. We're about to go um to the me time segment and Winnie's gonna Winnie are you there? All right let's talk about hey can you hear me guys yes we can Me time. It's been an um one kind of week actually. I was down, very sick. Nobody to cuddle me. Nobody to lay la mo. I was all by myself. Me and my dogs. <laughs> Can imagine. It started with night fever. I was always having night fever, and then that. gradually, 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 it became a full blown fever. But I'm a whole lot better now. You guys didn't ask of me, so I'm even very, very angry. Each and every one of you. He went. He went away. No, no, no. All of you. I'm really angry and upset with you. Why would you be angry at us? Did you tell us you were going to anything? Nobody I'm, asked I'm, of me. I'm if going to have asked going of to me. Things too. I'm going to if you had no. asked of me, you would have known. You never asked. You didn't ask me how I was doing. Did you ask of me? If you asked of me, you would have known that I wasn't feeling very well. I've even lost oh. weight. Oh, sorry. Ochoa wasn't feeling well. I wasn't feeling well. If I wasn't feeling well. I knew because you know somebody each one of them wrote something you know on the group so mm. you know but if you keep to yourself how I'm always, to know? I'm always eh? active now eh, so don't blame us now but Pele though your uku needs to come down because I need I need some of it Pele sorry you know we love you feel better <laughs> thank you thanks OJ, OJ, even you, my my party, or the one no more. No, no, Winnie, Winnie, I'm not, I'm not being myself, honestly. So the extent that I even had to leave town, like IJ mentioned, it's been a bit rough for me. 
So it's not like I had you in mind. God knows. Twice I wanted to message you, but man, you know me and phones for starters. So it's just that. <laughs> so the extent, <laughs> it, it was so bad that, you know, I got calls this week and um, I posted something and then a lot of people misunderstood it. They're the way. It ran as, as if you wanted to die. Yes, yeah, so some people said I was sounding suicidal. Yes, you did. That was the way we understood. What it. they don't know is that me, I like life. <laughs> because when I'm in here, no, I didn't see that suicidal. I didn't see that being suicidal. So I look beyond the surface. Exactly. I mean, I, I need rest. I just need to, you know, to, to, because there are times you want to detract yourself from your mind. You can be asleep, but your mind is very alert. Okay. Like so me, that's I why I wanted can't to detach myself from, you understand? So I needed that break. And that was me speaking out. A lot of people asked me to pull down the post. And I said, no, I'm not going to pull it down because that is my truth. Okay. And you asking me to pull it down is, suppressing my feelings, which would in turn affect my mental health. If this is what is going to give me that strength, allow okay. me. You know how people, they always, they are quick to say it's well, you know, it is well. And as if it is well, we we'll just take care of everything. Like it's magic. If I'm going through something, I want to be allowed to process it, okay, and um, get over it at my own pace. People are different. There are people, when you just say sorry to them, it's like, like Pentecostal church, mm -hmm. instant healing. But I'm not like that. So I, I, for, for the first time, I said, no, I'm not going to please anybody. I know why I wrote that thing. And because somebody actually said to me, look at you, look at the kind of life you live. You don't even have any reason to be unhappy. And I said, but I'm human. And I go through things that human beings go through. Okay, yeah, so well. she talked, go up, talk. Oh, well, yeah. I said, I am not pulling that pussy down. Whatever it, whatever people want to think, let them think. I have my own reason, and I know why I posted what I posted. But God being so kind, I took a time out. I left town yesterday, and today has been okay. I woke up bright and early, shining, and um, life goes on. And I'm so happy my two favorite people are here. A Thai boy is here. Benson is here. Binta is here too. And Binta is here. Yes, so in fact, when I saw Binta coming, I'm like, wow. After divorcing us for after divorcing us for weeks. No, it's been ages. Yeah, it's been good to see you, my love. <clears throat> So that's it for me. So Winnie, my apologies, please. I didn't abandon you. No problem, I'm, I'm, I know now. <laughs> I know, <laughs> but I've missed your voice. Okay. Who <laughs> no no go no? Now guys, you don't need to me, girl. But I was on Facebook. But you put on Facebook chat on time. I've had a beautiful week and very busy week. I have to tell myself that my life is just like a bicycle wheel. Dum, 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 dum. But thank God we're surviving the day. Um, is your kitchen done? 90% done, yes. So maybe the next torture kitchen will be there, showcasing, the showcasing the finished job. Um, I had um, a, an emotional day, but I don't, like, I don't let my emotions run too long. Um, we went to a funeral of one of our family friend's daughters, who is only 32 years old, mother of two, six and two years old. She just died. Started her day, collapsed in her house before 3 p.m. to pick up. She was buried today, so it was quite emotional. But um, I keep consoling everybody, telling them she's, she's lived a short life to us, but it's getting still longer than so many lives, people that died immediately. At least she's graduated, she had a job, she had two children, she's gone. To God be the glory, we'll always remember her. So may Onyinye's life or so rest in peace. Do you want to give her a minute of silence? 
I would love that. And I lost my cousin on Monday, first cousin. Oh, sorry. Mommy's younger brother's son. Ruptured oh, appendicitis. He was very oh, desperate, 29 years old. Sorry. Hey. So today. Well, can we give them a minute of silence? I would appreciate that. Thank you. Medisol of Onye Chuku Agocha and Arisa Chuku Oke Chuku and all the faithful departed rest in peace. Amen. So other than that, it's been life, life has been going on. I've been happy and busy as usual. What's over to you? You guys know me, I'm always stressed going through one problem or the other, but I carry I carry my trouble like my wig. I don't let I don't let it bother me because life goes on. Okay, yeah. My brother was diagnosed with cancer. If you know that, so he did his first chemotherapy uh, two days ago. Yeah. So you know. So yeah. But life goes on. So you know that. Which no? of your brothers? Paul, my oh. first brother. Yeah, he's in Luth now. He's in Lagos. Yeah. No. So, you know. So it's been going on. It's life is one one. Hodol after another, so and I'm used to it. And I will, I will mama stress one stress, one week, one stress. I don't even bother myself. So life goes on. Yeah, I just wear it like this week. And if you bother me too much, I just pull it out. If you, you know, I'm pulling it on and I'm good. All right, I'm with you. Over to you. My the topic of today. Thank you, love. Thank you. Oh, okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another beautiful Chicky Ching. Um, today's uh, topic is about um, would you unfollow your ex, ex on all social media platforms after a breakup? That's if you're following him already. Assuming you were following him before the breakup. <laughs> then after the breakup, would you unfollow him on all social media platforms? I think I'll go first. I know you have so many breakups. Yeah, tell us, go first. Because I'm watching you. Say, well, let me tell you now. <laughs> why are you itching to tell us? I don't know breakup. That's what I'm thinking of what breakup means. Go on. Really? Go on. Personally, <clears throat> I will block you on WhatsApp. Eh? I will block you on Instagram. Let us see about the road. Your own is block on follow. Your own is block. I will block you on everything blockable. So that the less you know about my life, the better for me. Because if I keep <laughs> seeing you, the more angry I will get. And maybe I invested a lot in that relationship. <laughs> so the best thing to do is to block you. And even block you on the road, if need be. I don't want, I don't want to pass. Block on a to, highway. Block block him on a highway everywhere. I don't even want to pass the same road with you or pass the same whatever. I'll block you every. I tell you, why are you laughing now? I will, I'll block everywhere blockable. To me, you're dead. I don't want you to exist, Seth. So I don't want a reminder that you exist. So I will block. So can I ask you a question? So. Are you telling us that um, you're not friends with any of your exes? No, some those that were nice, especially if I were the person that broke up. Uh -huh, I can't so remember. the blocking will depend on like the kind of thoughts um, that you dealt it with. It all depends on what the person did to me, actually. You know, it all depends on what the person did to me. If what the person did to me is beyond, is deep. Uh, they call it deep. Repair. Is it deep? 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 Very, you you hurt my soul, my dear. 
I block you everywhere blocking me. To be honest, I don't want to have anything to do with you. I don't even want to be reminded that you are alive or you are on this planet Earth with me. Mm. Shaky now. I forget. I try to use that him at all. It wasn't even in my life at all at all. There are some I still keep in touch with. You know, from time to time, they call to keep up, check up on me and know how I'm doing. And I'll be like, oh, wow. You know, there are some I don't even... I don't even know where they are. I don't know where they are. Whether they are married, whether they have kids, whether they are, I don't care. And there are some I see, they send me messages on Facebook, friend requests. I just de press deny. I don't want to know. So that's just me. I don't know about another person. Somebody else might have a contrary opinion, but hey, it is what it is. So, um, I'll go straight to Ataibo has been laughing. Ungwa, Ataibo, what say you? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, Hi, Ataibo. Yeah, um, I'm friends with all my exes. I don't see the need to block anybody on. Then again, I'm not, I'm, I don't broadcast my life on social, any social media for starters. And I like to be friends with people because you just don't know where tomorrow is going to, what you're going to need from anybody. If we break up, and I like to think that in a relationship, we end up being friends. So friends, lovers, and if lovers stop, then the friendship can continue. Uh, life is too short, you know. I talk, mm -hmm. to, I talk to everybody. I I don't see the need to block anybody because blocking you on the phone and on the, uh, Facebook and everything. If I don't block you, mama, I'm still hurting. So we are the, the big couples. I can block you on my phone, block you, but if you're still in my heart, that means I and I haven't moved on. So we want okay. to move on and everybody find their way. That's fine. I like to be able to see you outside and beat you and find out how you're doing or whatever. I wouldn't follow you anywhere, but I just like us to be friends. Life is just too short, you know. And I just I love people, and if they don't love me, there's nothing I can do about that, you know. And if if I block them, how would they know I'm shining? <laughs> how would they know I'm like blondie blondie? How would they know that I'm lucky? You know, forget all that blocking. I don't block. I don't block. We just we just we just go. Yeah, you know how it goes. <laughs> That's just that just me though. Um, IJ. Mm. If you are um, for me, okay. I thought I had IJ. Uh, go ahead, Ify. Um, it depends. Again, I'm not a social media person fully. I'm partial. So most times, okay. Which of be partial? Let me, let, me, let me give you a clear example. My guy, guy at the top, Mr. Emeka, the husband, is not my friend on Facebook. So if by adventure we break up tomorrow, <laughs> I won't be on following him because I never allowed him to follow me. <laughs> okay, like okay, let's say, but what about your, okay, before you got married, the boyfriends you had before exactly you got married, did you, are you, say. that's who what we're talking about. We're not talking about. Friend. Who told me that I didn't marry a virgin? Who told you I didn't marry a virgin? Begging. <laughs> I am. Hey, but you don't have to. You don't have to have sex to have. You can have boyfriends and not have okay, sex. Okay. Yeah. Let me tell you about those ones. Um. What happened? Okay. What like me, I'm still a virgin now. You. Let me be a virgin. I have the same view about Asati that just spoke. I like friends, even if we break up. I'm. I've done block. Do you know I've never used block on my my mobile phone? Block number. I've never used it. And there are people I have not spoken to for years because maybe fallen out or I've been upset with them or wanted. So I wouldn't. I wouldn't unfollow you on Facebook or anywhere. And like for that one of those reasons, that he said, you have to hear my good stories. You have to know. Don't let people tell you. You know that I'm shining because wherever we move on, and don't I don't move on to fall down. I move on to keep shining. So you're gonna see me. I got a hammer. That is one. Two. And I believe that people. You can always. You will. You never know when you need people. But they may need you. It might not be you needing them. They may need you. And I say, chinekated girl, I say, good girl I am. I'm, I forgive easily. So I can always, you can see me just doing favors to that person that's hurt me in the past, not minding what they did. And I say, good girl, again, I'll tell you, God will judge you. So I'm following people on social media after a breakup. That is not my style. I've never tried it. I've never done it. And I don't think I would do it. I'll tell you to ignore. 
Now that's now again, like I just said, it's in the mind. Unfollow you if I want to unfollow break or in the after break, I have to unfollow in my mind, in my conscience, knowing that it's gone, it's gone. So those social media and mobile phone unfollowing. <laughs> well, go ahead, yeah. For me, I'm very good friends with my exes, all of them. From A to Z, whether they did 20 or 100. Me and them are all very good friends. Um, <laughs> me and them are very, the only people I block, the only people I block are like, if you if your friendship stresses me out that I have to, you have to give me a headache, I'll block your ass. I'll block you, mm. calls, WhatsApp, yeah. And I'll follow you that you will not um, be able to see me. But I'm very good friends with all my exes. Any place, if they come into town, I go, I go somewhere, we all, you know, I'm, they are just like my friends. Even after the breakup, if I see them the next day, we're still cool. Yeah, it's just that it's a, it's a breakup. It's a breakup. It means we're not like you know fucking around anymore. But yeah, I'm still friends with them. Okay, Biza. <laughs> you have huh? anything to say? What you go? What did you say? Did you hear what you said? Did you hear what you said? Yeah, I said yeah. What did you say? Even though what we're not. Is- Fucking around anymore, yeah. Yeah. Bleep, 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 bleep. On social media, bleep, bleep, bleep. Bleep, bleep, now, Zagene. Like it. You know? <laughs> me, they were eggs. Eh? It's a little virgin. So, did I claim I was a virgin? I'm not a virgin. OJ, may we hear your gentle voice, baby? Huh? Mm. <laughs> um, excuse me. I'm sorry. Actually, for me, if um, it was a toxic relationship, then no. No. definitely it would have ended on very bad terms. So based on that, I would say yes, on follow. But if it was a good one and you could be left in good terms, I don't see the reason why we should unfollow each other. Because come to think of it, a lot of things can make you um, end a relationship. You understand? I don't necessarily follow that there was a quarrel. There are people who have dated with a view to marriage, but circumstances separated them. Like in the eastern part of Nigeria, I mean, we don't have it in my place. We don't know what Osu is, but I know that at some parts of Igbo land, they have the Osu caste system. I know a very good family friend who desperately wanted to marry. This girl is an Osu, and that marriage didn't happen, you know? They had to go their separate ways. But I don't think such people, because they never fell out of love. It's just that they couldn't get married. Those kind of people, I'm sure they will still be fooling. I'm sure, I'm sure they are still in touch. They might not be really close proximity, so that Okafor's law would not happen. But I want to believe that they are still in touch. So for such relationships, you can't say uh, you must unfollow the person. So at the end of the day, it boils down to the circumstances that was behind the breakup. If there wasn't any bad blood, there's no point. But if there was, for me, I'll do what is okay for my mental health. Whatever is best for me and whatever, yeah, exactly, whatever keeps me sane, you know? In life, at this point in time, I'm struggling to put myself first, okay? Whatever will make me happy, whatever I am comfortable with, whatever I want to do, let me just do me for once. So when it comes to this too, I'll consider myself. Notice that the little faces are there. Even if we're no longer dating, I'm going to stay in touch with him, no matter what anybody says. But if cutting him off, would give me peace, then I'll cut the person off. That is my take. Okay, okay Binta, welcome back to Uche Kitchen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can you hear me? No, not that I'm I'm leave. after maternity leave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, for me. I'm very lazy with social media. So I won't even remember to block you. <laughs> I won't even know if you are following me. 
or you are following no, me. I'll just be there. Pinta, if you guys yeah. are communicating on social media, then you would remember to block him. It depends on your mode of communication. If it was just phone calls yeah. and text messages, then social media would not come in. But if Maybe. you guys are doing yeah. WhatsApp, then you would you think about Even that. I and most I people do just communicate. Once I've moved, once my mind has moved, I've moved. Your number might be there. 100 years, I, I won't even remember. Because I'm sure there are some people, when I check their number, their number is on my phone, but I can't remember communicating with them. So once my mind has moved, I've moved. So you are out because if, what if your I, mind moves, if I go to the phone and you don't really want to hear from me, what do you do? You know that if I'm, if it's not the phone that is moving now, like a type of said, if I go to unblock, then somewhere, somewhere, that number will be coming to my head. I want to, that means I still have to, but it's for me to move. Once I've moved, I've moved. So the number, even if you call me, if I've moved, I'll answer you. Uh, how are you? How are you? I'll answer you, but I've moved. You know, I won't even feel bad. I won't, you know, and I won't also, if I, I happen to maybe one day see status, something has happened to a congress, I'll just... I said, so, wow, congratulations. Mm -hmm. I won't, you know, you won't have, you won't feel, I won't feel any way. Unless when I feel bad is if my mind has not moved and I, I'm looking for what to hurt you with. But Peter, I don't understand you know, what is moving. How is your mind moving? Eh, now if you don't have any, you break Is it moving with the vehicle? No, 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 Wow. Yeah, so, be bumper, okay. but, she's speaking <laughs> literally you know, but you know eh, but you know that sometimes eh, you will say oh, i've moved on my mind i've moved on but because the person's number is still on your phone and chats and all that i can't make it let me just send him a message or call him that's why then. i block your mind never fly no, your mind never come block. out if you're, no, if you're going to that, that chat no there are some things that you remember. Maybe you're you're watching an emotional movie, or maybe you you went to a place that you two normally frequent, or whatever. You know, you your your hand will be doing you. Oh, let me call him and say, guess where I am? This this that I don't want all of that. Your so mind has not moved Winnie. out. Winnie, 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 do you know mm -hmm. if you block, delete numbers, everything, and your mind has gone, you will find that number again. Absolutely. Maybe there's somewhere you will go. You will see the number find. again. That's how I heal. That's how I heal. When I block, I block in my mind. And I want heal. to block in your mind now. That number on the phone, you see, you will not look for the number. You know that there's some number, even if they steal your phone, you will get it. You, you, let, let, I yeah. won't get let it because I have like three comment. numbers that I have blocked. Yeah, really, we've got a comment on Facebook. Someone said, for me, I'm in control with all, with all apart from just one. But I don't see the need of blocking your ex. Moving on requests forgiveness or requires forgiveness. So okay. it's about forgive. If you forgive the person, you won't even remember to block and follow them. Again, yeah, I think like someone said, it's about depending on what the nature of the breakup. But again, for me, it doesn't matter the nature of the breakup. I'm not unfollowing anybody. Because maybe I wouldn't have even following you in the first place. Person, we know you're here. But do you want to say something? Are you busy? Yes, one of where got two men that Chizo, Winnie. Hi. Hello. Chizo is here. Okay. Hi. Sorry, I came a bit late to the party. I was held up. But okay. I, I think um, if the question is, am I able to follow? Exactly. Like, I mean, I block you on all fronts. I don't even want to know anything about you. I mean, if I can block you for my life. I mean, yes. like if I can block you from walking the same streets that I have, that I have, I, I'm hey. going to do that. That is it. I mean, when I when I zero my mind, I zero my mind. Everybody go and answer my name. That's hey. my own take on it. This is serious, though. <laughs> this is a serious something. Everyone <laughs> okay, to be burning my cables. You know, when you want to see someone new, they will say, "Ah, that used to be their air." I mean. I mean, God forbid, but I mean, the only ex I know that's okay, maybe if it's an ex I share a child with, they're okay. I won't block you, but you will not know anything about me anymore, except you know you through my... Okay. 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 Okay.
it's, I mean, you're not meant to be in my life any longer. Uh -huh. mm. But if it's just a relationship, I know, please, I block you everywhere. If I'm following, I will follow you. I'm the kind of person who can meet us at the or somebody else. <laughs> Lock them. Enemies of progress. Lock them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Masters, <laughs> do you have anything to add? You have Hugo's as well. Hugo's is here. Okay, Hugo's, your camera is off. But do you have anything to add? Would you unfollow your ex on all social media platforms after a breakup? Hugo's. Hi, Jamal. So we know you're here. You have something to say? What about you, Bozo? Hello. Hi, everyone. Hello. I'm at work today. Hi, Jay. Well, Hi. yeah. Go on. Yeah. Hi. Well, for me, I will block you. I First of all, I'm not even on social media. So um, I don't have the power to unfollow you. But if I were, I would block. You. Unfortunately, I, I have not blocked anyone because no one can find me. <laughs> but really and truly, if we ended on a good note, there's no harm in hello and how you doing, but there must be a line drawn at that line. So that's from Nice to see everyone. Hey, nice to see you too, I do. Yeah. Can I can I ask you guys what's like what do you guys mean ending on a good note and ending on a bad note on a bad note? Like, okay, can I can well, I explain? Can I explain? Yeah, go on. Go for on, me, ending on a good note is it wasn't meant to be. And you know, we agreed Amicable. to part ways. I've had a like that. We agreed to part ways, you know. So anytime the person wants to say hello and how you doing, I have no problems with that. But you know, the line is still drawn because me, I've moved on. You, you've also moved on. We're not, you know, where we used to be. Ending on a bad note could be that the person Tora Gime Balsa. And then you know, maybe okay. it happens. Definitely. I wouldn't even um, follow you. I wouldn't even speak to you. I that's it. So it depends. So there's a question, IJ. Does mutual agreement really exist? That's the question. At, at the ask yeah. us. I, oh I yeah. Also ask yeah. That. yeah. It does. Yeah. Yes. 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 It does. Yeah. Okay. It does. I want to ask you. It question. might not be. It might not be fifty-fifty agreement, but there's an understanding that you know what I mean. Good. And do you agree you with know, me? Yeah. That anybody, anybody that you have that understanding with a mutual agreement with. You'll be tempted to cross that line. You will never know how to line. No way. No, for, never... for me, I, I don't believe in all those uh, uh, if conscious of co ahead. coupling or I, I ending mutually. Uh, because the thing is, in a relationship, I give 110%. For me to walk away from that relationship, it means I've gone to a point of no return and like, there's no turning back. Exactly. And when I turn, when I go oh, to a point know, of no times, return, at times it might be external factors. At times it might be external factors that made you guys break up. It might not even ah, be between you guys. That means I'm not, I'm not yeah, strong enough. Was. I'm not strong enough to fight for. You see, eh, I think sometimes I keep saying maybe I would have been born in the Victorian era, in the sense that for me, what I feel in a relationship is, if you want to go for me, go all out for me. I mean, burn bridges with anybody. Yes, and because I will burn bridges with anybody for you. So if you cannot, if you're saying because if because of the external factors, you're breaking off with me. Oh my goodness, you're backing. That means I'm in, I'm in oh, the wrong it might person. be you. It might be you breaking with him because of external factors. It doesn't, break up doesn't necessarily always come from the male. So it yeah. can be you. It can be you. My dear, you're tired of this argument, you know, because every time we're arguing because of this shit. Let's just go. Go You know what I mean? It might come from me. It doesn't necessarily have to come from, from the male. Uh, uh... Some people thrive in arguments. I thrive in arguments. Uh, it doesn't mean that I like, I'm quarrelsome, okay? Um, but the thing is, there's always, I don't know. I always believe in, 
in a relationship, people see the best. Sorry, this boy will not even let me be great. People see the best in you and they see the worst in you. Because the only person who can be able to appreciate you is the person who you're in relationship with. They'll, they've seen your lowest of, of lows and they'll see your highest of highs. But then, having said that, um, if they treat, I, I, I expect to be treated with humanity, with kindness. I know love is there, but I like, I think in my order of priority, kindness should be top on the list. Love is there. Love is the foundation, but that's not everything. If you're kind to me, you wouldn't be able to do those kind of things to me. And that's how I see it. But maybe I see things in black and white. Maybe that's that's how my brain functions. But, but Chiso, I think you're that's talking how I as see. if it's the you, you you talk as if the woman is always at the um no 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 yeah. that's what I'm okay. saying. When I mean as in I, I, of course women have broken up relationship. Um I've, of I've course, never, yes, I've, I have I've never been left. I've never been left. I honestly yeah. all my relationship I mean <laughs> uh -huh. but now them do way to make me leave. Uh -huh. So, but nobody has ever ever left me till date. That means still the leave, you know. So, um, so, so for me, I always left, but and I always gave long groups, you know. But I leave. I left all my relationships, all of them. Whether twenty nine hundred, let me leave all of them. Please, can I read this Go message ahead. um from? Um, Joy and Day from, from, from yeah, she yeah. said, <laughs> she said, I will block you, especially if he is an Olo Ribuku somebody. <laughs> Olo Ribuku is a thief, Abby. Olo Ribuku, <laughs> <laughs> an unfortunate person. <laughs> an unfortunate person. I have to read that. He I really think is here. <laughs> Don't no, you can explain to us what, uh, what, what, what you mean? Olori Buruku, somebody is. You're on mute, baby. Yeah. Okay, yes. An Olori Buruku person is someone that is very, very unfortunate. That <laughs> oh, okay. came with his bad luck, everything. Yes. <laughs> and left you stranded, more like. <laughs> so, okay. She just caught all ties with that sort of person. That's just it. That makes okay. sense. <laughs> because yeah, in, in Lagos, I keep hearing Oluri Buruku and all of that, but I never really got to. I thought it was a thief. Yeah. Olo Buruku. Olo Buruku. Benson has a yeah, question. Yeah, 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 yeah. Benson has a question. Who? Benson. Oh, okay. I can see. Okay. Benson says, um, okay, Benson, what's your question? Benson. Hello, Benson. He can't hear us. Benson, please unmute yourself if you can hear us. Okay, let's go ahead then. Okay. Okay, my own question. Who did that mean the good note? Mutual agreement. Mutual agreement. Is there anything what like mutual it? agreement? There's what makes it anything good like mutual agreement. What I want them to be because... an aggrieved partner. Yes, it can never be 50 50. 50, 50 yeah. So yeah, the, of course. The same way you don't like each other at the same time is the same way you cannot stop liking each other at the same eh. time. That that is so, you just so have no to, matter the story, the person comes to accept for mutual understanding. Five times a day, starts calling you twice a week. Start uh, begin to borrow sense. And then start to, 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 twice a month, start calling you. If it, um, can it's I, not people there, though. It's not giving you time to get used to what's coming. So by the time you say, how oh, now? You say, how oh, now? You don't say it's mutual. It's like that's paying you for two, three months in between because you've been dying. I'm paying you, paying you, but you can't say anything, you know? And then you say, how oh, is it? We had the mutual with it. You have been suffering because <laughs> they not abandoned you. So it's not like mutual. So let's forget that. Let's not, let's not blow guy in this world. He's paying you. <laughs> you somebody just love you, fine, fine. And then some love you. And then one kind, not a younger. All of a sudden, he was driving to your house and the road came to an end. 
<laughs> and it's so sweaty more. Ha! <laughs> Well, what do you do that, you know? You just begin to tell you that, okay, things are not the way they used to be. And then, then it gives you time to heal a bit at a time, you know? And then you move on. At time. Mutual agreement does not exist. Forget it. At a time. Or yeah, after, after putting so much in the relationship, after everything, somebody will now say, let's talk. You say it's mutual. That, you know, my mother said, you know, for you to understand, for you to be mutual, so because of that, we cannot go ahead. We have to part. Is that mutual? For where? Is that understanding? For where? For where? If it's that we've gone to, if it's that we've gone to hospital, both of us are AS. That is exit behavior. Is a is is mutual. We are all AS. Both of us are AS, and we know the risk of getting married. If we don't want to take that risk, it will pay. It will hurt us, but we we'll have to part. That's you see, you see, I, I think in this, these examples you're giving is really nice. Though. But you know, to be what honest, that? I've, I've seen people who have gone against us like AS. They just don't know what. You can, to, yeah, you can continue yeah. with the risk. You can mm -hmm. say, let no, let's continue with the risk. Or they say, okay, we can continue with the risk, and they mutually agree and pass. They will not block each other. But if it's that I understood that your mother and I've got. <laughs> <laughs> it's not mutual. <laughs> that I didn't block you is that I'll pour you water if I have oil, if I have energy, but I will not go to social media and block you. So think it's mutual. But when I have opportunity, I'll pour you hot water. <laughs> My sister, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Even um um domestic violence relationships itself i don't think it ends on a mutual note at all it's never ah. mutual somebody no, has will to never be mutual now we, 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 we say domestic violence what are you talking about that since we are talking about one person is the victim one, one, one person is always hitting the other person so this person says i want to leave the other person says it's always hitting has to agree that that person will leave and uh -huh. then it becomes mutual uh -huh, now. Mm. Peter and the whatever. If I if I beat you all the time, and then you say you cannot take long, you can no longer take the beating, right? Yes. And then you want to leave. Me oh, as the beater, yeah. I will say, okay, you can leave. Maybe that's the reason why I'm even beating you because I want you to leave. So Winnie, can I ask you a question? Actually, I've got two questions. On following your ex after a breakup, does it mean that you are aggrieved? Or you want to close that chapter? Does it mean what? That you are grieved, you're really hurting from that relay from the um, breakup, or is it because you want to close that chapter and open a new one? Both, both of them, because you are aggrieved and because you want to close that chapter. Mom, mom, <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't agree with you, more, Sister Winnie. Let's burn the bridges. Uh -huh. Let's not go to a point of no return. Okay. And another question. My second question is: Where there has been that mutual agreement, where you've agreed to disagree mm. agreeably, and mm. you want to please your new partner. And that new partner mm -hmm. got this beautiful, handsome, or whatever, jealous and full of everything partner. I don't want you communicating with your exes. You need to delete them from your Facebook and your Twitter and your Instagram and your Bubweru. How do, would that work when there's that mutual agreement? Ijama, you might know this. Wapa. It, because if you, yeah, go ahead. You, 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 you have to take this. You have to take this. Where you, where you have not, where you've not unfollowed your part, unfollowed your ex, right? Mm -hmm. And your new, your newfound love tells you no. For all, for me to be comfortable in this relationship, you, you need to unfollow them so that you can, can move on. What would, how no. would you deal with that? No, no, I wouldn't even. I won't even date somebody who thinks like that. Hell no. No. That's my my past life is my past life. It's part of my past life. That's that's one of the problems I had um with uh my husband right now. I can't even mention an ex's name. Why can't I mention an ex's name? But I can mention his own ex's. You know what I mean? Once once I mention my ex's name, it's like wahala. That's my past life. No, I can't. I no no no. Why would I not? So you want like, to follow, okay. Like I'm assuming if I get divorced now, I have so much pictures of my husband. 
on Facebook, right? So if I divorce right now, I'm not taking down his pictures. Those are those were my history, things that happened in a particular timeline in you know in my life. So I'm not deleting anything. It's gonna mm. be there. I know people delete. People delete. They clear the past. It's my history. Yeah. I have no, a I won't. No, I will. I will not. I will not. Ati, what do you think? Bimbi, bim, 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 one minute. Let Ati. I want Ati's contribution to this. Ati, what do you think? My friends, I should give up mm. my friends for a man. Your exes. Ex. Let me tell you something. When I make friends, I keep my friends. You know, I'm loyal to my friends, you know. And if you marry me, you know that I'm a loyal person to you. If you don't trust me enough to, to be loyal to you, then we shouldn't be together. Mm. That's just as simple as that, you know. If you just say, why you talk to that person? Is it that you don't trust me or you don't trust yourself? Mm. If you don't trust yourself, that's the problem you have to deal with. If you don't trust me, that's a problem you also have to deal with. That is not my problem. You know, we all at our age, you know, at my age, I have, I have a history. I have a past. I'm not going to come to the table and say, oh, no, no, I've been waiting. I've seen you give back to me. I've been in the hospital waiting for you to come for me. It doesn't work mm. like that. I've come with the past, you know. If you can't take it, then that's nothing I can do about that, you know. But I, I keep my friends. And, you know, if you don't, and if, they, if you are lucky, they might be your friends. But if you are not lucky, then I keep my friends. You keep your friends. End of story. I'm never going to stop tell you to stop talking to your exes. I don't care about your exes. I'm your present. That's the way I see it. I'm your present and we should be together, you know. Whatever has mm. happened in the past is your palaver. Oh, I'm going to see my friend. I'm like, I said, that's fine. Have a good time. I'm not, I don't stress about things like that. I, I have myself too much to stress about other, about other people. So I don't, in dealing, I don't believe in encouraging and supporting other people's um, I don't know what I call it, uh, insecurity. Iberi, we call it in Igbo Iberiberism. Bim, 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 we wanted to ask your question. You're on mute. Unmute yourself, babes. Okay. People that believe in mutual agreement, please answer. If after the mutual agreement, can you go for the person's wedding? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, yes. like let me give you an example. Yeah, let me give you an example of the last guy that dated before I got married. Benson, I was no. dating this guy, he wasn't. Huh? Benson, no, is Benson has been struggling. To I was talk, dating this guy. He... But we heard him go on. His friends, his friends were always harassing him. Ijoma is a bad girl. 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 Leave this girl. How can she live in a flat, a three bedroom flat with another? You know, they were every time we go out, the same thing. We come back. The only thing I hear your my friends, my cousins, that you know what I mean. After some time, I'm like, you know, you know what? Fuck it. I can't. I can't deal with you know. Me and you were always together. You know what I do? Anything I do, I tell you. So I don't even understand. Did we lose Ijoma? I think we lost connection with IJ. Yeah, we may have lost IJ. Let me make a contribution. Uh, yeah, go ahead. You guys hear me? Sorry, my dear. Okay. I'm in the car. So unfortunately for him, by the time by the time he came back to beg, I already agreed to marry my husband. He came, he three of my exes were there at my wedding. Two were crying now. So you know, so but it is what it is. I don't have any for you. For you. If I was in Nigeria, if I was in Nigeria when they married, I would have gone. Both my parents' uh, burials, they were all there. Yeah, my brother's just, wedding, some came. So you I'm very friends with everybody. Yeah, you are the one that mutually agreed. You are the one that the mutual agreement was heavier on your side. Is you are the, <laughs> the mutual agreement is eighty that side, you twenty, and you say it's mutual. You know, why it's sounding like this is because the mutual agreement is on your side. You moved. But if you are the one hot and you say you are convincing yourself it's mutual agreement, you go and cry like that guy is crying. Your wedding. Yeah, Peter, to, to answer you, I said the agreement can never be 50 50. For every win, some must, uh, someone must lose. So it can be 70, 30, but the agreement means there's a mutual understanding. Okay, let's use mutual and understanding. That this thing is not going to the Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah like of course. On. One person, well, of course, that is why it's called a breakup. One person has to leave. Yeah, yeah that's why it's called a breakup. Not mutual anything. One person has a walk the away. did not agree that huh? breakup. The person did not agree for that breakup. He was agreed now. He was, he, he was, 
we agreed. We agreed, though. I spent the night, though. We did everything. Though. The next day, I walked away. Yeah. The next morning, I walked away. Yeah. Walked away. He did not walk. No, away. it's a mutual. There's a mutual understand. No, there's mutual understanding. Yeah, there's mutual understanding. Yeah, it is. It is. At least you understand that you know we are arguing about this cop every time, and it doesn't make sense. That's an understanding. So what are we going to do about it? You know, some people take breaks from breaks. They can come back together. At times, the break never. You know, they might not come back together. So it depends on what the issue you know is or was or you know that, that kind of thing yeah you know for me, mutual is on my side i'll go for your you wedding i'll you. not block you i'll be chatting you because i'm the one having yeah. the phone if if you have health issues like something like genotype and you mm -hmm. know that okay because i don't want to have children that are sicklers i need to get off this relationship. You can call that a mutual agreement because two of you will come to terms with it and two of you will decide that, okay, there's no way forward. For such a person, you remain friends even though you didn't end up together. That is a typical example of mutual agreement. Of course. Because you have a common goal. You do not want to have a child that will suffer. So both of you have that understanding and it is fair on both parties. For such a relationship, you cannot say, oh, don't be friends with this person. It doesn't make sense. In fact, I don't, in fact, telling somebody not to be friends with somebody self doesn't even make sense in the first place. But for something like this, that's why I said it, it depends. At the end of the day, what it boils down to what really happened, what is the reason? And when you consider it, when you weigh the pros and cons, you see that okay, there's a okay. reason for this. And then okay, I think oh, I need this is I where I, need. Said I should tell you people that you make sure that your as I was said, are you checking that all your exes are not watching before you respond? Huh? Huh? For those of you blocking them on the highway. Yeah, mine. Uh, Mine is the same. They'll say the same thing. Even I have an I have an ex. The wife, me and the wife are like, not that we are very close, but you know, she knows we are very good friends. Even when she came here to have a baby, I went to see her. I went to see her. You know, that's how close she knows. You know, me and the husband are where or at. You know, so and she knows there's nothing happening. It's just you know where I had I had like. I had breakups, but you know what I mean? It wasn't a do or die affair. Maybe because I, it's my non challenged attitude, I don't know. But if I move on, I move on. If I see it tomorrow, we go talk, yeah. talk, drink, you, sleep, you know, we do everything, you know. I think that non challenged yeah. attitude is one huh? point of attraction. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to you, Joma. You said it. I'm, I'm telling her that yeah. her non challenged attitude is a very strong uh, point of attraction. Thank you, for, for, for you. Who? For who? Ijoma, Ijoma. For he, I know, yeah. For yeah that, that, that's why I'm so cool with guys. I'm so, I'm so cool with guys because I, I'm a, I'm a girl's guy. You know what I mean? I you always it. see me hanging out with 10, 20 guys. Nani mga the only girl never. And I, I do well with guys. I do very well with guys. Very well. Because you're a daughter, 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 daughter of many I, boys. Only girl yeah, and I don't yeah. lie to them. And I, th anything I do, I'll tell you. Whether good, bad, or not ugly, I, I don't lie to them. So all your life you have been around men. Very yeah, and their friends yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I'll tell you one story. I guess I guess this particular girl in question must be one of those that block on the highway and block everywhere, blockable. Um, she broke. Now about the Takata Expressway. Everywhere, eight thirteen, eight four six, yeah, <laughs> eleven. So I ninety five. She, she broke up with her with her ex. Okay, with her boyfriend. And, and her boyfriend was. And this woman was getting married to another lady. So she came back somehow, or she had she had informants around, and she wanted to know. She said she's gone, she's gotten over it, she's um, okay, she doesn't mind, she will attend the wedding. You know, this young man gave her the wrong village where the wife was coming from, a different date. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a nice dude. That is not a nice dude. Do you know what the girl would have done? And I only <laughs> nice of me. Oh, she planned doing something negative? No, we don't know. Or she he doesn't know. 
But I guess the way she reacts, maybe she's capable of blocking on highways. And she wanted to attend that wedding. The man yeah. gave wrong venue, wrong date. Said no, he's not gonna, she's not gonna come for my wedding. She didn't, yeah. she, didn't, she didn't want to attend the wedding. She wanted the wedding, wanted to attend. Maybe the she didn't take the break breakup very good. Yeah, maybe she didn't take she the breakup the very wedding. good. She didn't yeah. need the information from him. She would have got the information from somebody else. Yes, so, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't believe that story. The very guy fit make fake. Maybe the guy did a fake um fake invitation I and did. gave her. I'm I'm just saying, I don't know. So but so is it correct to say know. that unfollowing your ex means that you're not for you don't have a forgiving spirit? Must there be something to forgive? Mm. Exactly. Breakup doesn't happen without. Um, okay, who something. goes? Go ahead. Who goes? Yeah, yeah, go on. My, my contribution to that is that, you know, when you say you have uh, broken up with somebody, and stuff like that. The, the person's chapter should should be completely erased from your mind. Mm. Yeah. So you don't need to be bitter about the person again. Except you have, except you are not done with uh, the person and stuff like that. But otherwise, you move ahead, ahead, ahead. Yes, so uh, you know. we move. Yeah, we move, we move. <laughs> I give you an example. I give you an example. And, and I believe, and I believe, the best way to get over somebody is be under somebody else. Because otherwise, if you're there alone, you'll be crying and moaning, and you know what I mean. But if you move on with the next person, <laughs> you don't remember it. Let me tell you. 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 Let me the short story I want to start is this, you know, uh, my ex-wife, up to date, she still feels, she still feels uh, so much pain, so much uh, this, so much that, you know, and stuff like that, that she doesn't even want to see me. Mm. And this has happened over the years. I've moved on with my life. I don't even remember her. She's not pain. watching. You know, and I, I wouldn't know, but she feels a lot of pain. And she was the person that did whatever thing that made the relationship to break up. We have moved on, but she, I have moved on, but she has refused to move on. Mm. So did you hurt her a lot? Is there? So do you want Although to I know the story, I know the story. <laughs> said, did I do what? He said, did you hug her a lot? I said, don't you want to tell Or did she hug me a lot? Or did she hug me a lot? Or did she hug me a lot? She wanted to use me as Suya, but at the end of the day, God vindicated me. Uh, you know? Yeah, what kind of, what level of Suya? Just like this, this incident that is trending now. Yes. If you look at if I put on my if I put, if I put on my video now, you see a mark that is on my face. It was the yeah. face, it was the mark that she was she, she gave to me with an iron. Mm. Oh my god. Are you serious? I hope you're in that on the video. Please put on the video. We want to see more. My father taught me. No, he has a mark. He has a mark. Please put on the video. Okay, you're the one that knows. Yeah, he has. We want to see. You want to see? Yes. Yes. So I will understand better. Show us a video. Show us a video. Show us a video. Use your phone like. <laughs> your phone I'll show you. I'll show you guys his picture oh later. Yeah. Uh, you know, so that is that, that is the simple truth about it. You know, my father taught me how to be a gentleman, no matter the provocation and uh, stuff like that. Are you still that there? Was, there? What you, you, you know. <laughs>
Mm. I stopped. It does happen. Yeah, it does happen. Yeah. But I have for us, the person I have forgiven her for all the many, 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 many atrocities that she committed. That if I begin to say them now, don't one say, by one, don't say, don't say, don't say. You know, don't say. The person, because people, you don't one, want to go back. If I match my own and, list, if I match my list, don't that. say. I, <laughs> I think it's been yeah, it's been it's been an it's been an interesting one. It's mixed. The show has been a mixed one today. We're not leaning on one side. Some people don't want to believe it because they don't have a forgiving spirit. That's why they're unfollowing us. And some people think we are following them because we still want to maintain that line. We don't want to make it very thick. That's why we're still following them. Either way, whatever suits you best, like OJ would do. Like she said to us the last week, she's trying to get a step away from certain things and she got everybody mixed up. Someone called me and said, did you see your just post? Is everything okay? When I read it, I thought, I said, are you okay? <laughs> What's going on? At the end of the day, everything was all right. All she needed was just a holiday. She wanted to go on the plane to the next town and she was deceiving us on Instagram. Be careful. Thank you very much, everyone, for being a part of today's show. What are you up for me? Um, no, no, I'm, I can, I can, because I'm in a car. They all left here. I have to join you're them. Out, here. You're out. I'm I have out. To leave you guys. You can see I'm out, I'm out as well. OJ is out, but again, I'm it's out. been interesting. Next week, oh my God, I'm I out. Would not, I will not miss next week's show for anything. The next week's show is shoot. My father or my, my friend, right? Should my daddy date my friend? My daddy, should my daddy? Hey, this one go hey. also. This one go also. This one go also. Go also. Go hey. Zaddy, do you answer question. question. Is yeah. the Zaddy? I can date daddy or say something. I can date daddy or say something. I will know. I will answer answers to that question. And it's happening next week, 3rd of July, on Saturday as usual, from 7 p.m. Nigerian time, UK time, 2 p.m. East Standard Time, 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, and 11 a.m. Pacific Time. Join us live on Facebook, invite your friends. Please, when you get our videos, our links, share, 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 share. I um, I had a, with somebody at the funeral today asking me, oh, I don't see your links anymore. And I checked and I noticed that she, I don't know how it happened. I guess she changed her phone or something, dropped off my broker list, broker's list. That's okay, I said, put that back. So check and see. If you've been sharing to people like don't, you think you're still sharing or you're not sharing, please. That's the way to help Oche Kitchen grow. Um, let's keep in touch, watch our videos. We've been on for over a year, for us. well over a year, and we love all of you that has been here for us, consistent and dropping in from time to time, thinking about us and commending us for our hard work. Thank you, and I say good evening, and we'll see you next week, July the 3rd. Thank you. Please, can I ask OJ a question? Go on. OJ, please, can you give me the tip of how you, the thing you write and move, they will now give, put you on the plane. Because I have to I go, guys. To, um, I need to leave my spirit, or is it, did OJ say leave the spirit or leave the body? How she was able to travel. She, she did an extra travel, extra travel, so she left the spirit. Please, OJ, tell, tell me what I will say, what I will do, how I'll be behaving to now leave, enter plane, and go to the next city. Now my spirit is not here again. <laughs> Where do you want to go to? Jamaica. I need to align with my spirit. Of my consulting fee. Eh? <laughs> because, because. They can hit, I'll tell you how they to beat my spirit back to this house. We we seek draw, draw the spirit anywhere the spirit is back to this house. Please tell me the strategy. I need to. I need to.